in an effort to expedite COVID-19 vaccinations. The city of Toronto says all employees must show proof of vaccination by the end of the month. Those that don't will be suspended without pay and eventually fired. That means 850 workers could be on the chopping block. As of November 1st, city staff who do not show proof of vaccination will be suspended for six weeks. But come December 13th, if staff still do not show proof of vaccination, they will be fired under the grounds that they have chosen not to comply with the mandatory COVID-19 vaccination policy. As the largest employer in Toronto, uh, having a, uh, a firm policy about the need to be vaccinated uh, demonstrates uh, the seriousness with which uh, this issue uh, revolves. So far, 95% of city staff have completed their vaccination disclosure form. Of that, 89% disclose their status as fully vaccinated, while 5% are partially vaccinated. According to the city, approximately 850 of the 31,000 employees have not received a shot, while 1,800 haven't disclosed their status. Well, we are encouraged by uh, by the numbers and we uh, anticipate that, that those numbers will continue to improve uh, over the next couple of weeks. These employees who choose not to get vaccinated, do they have a fighting chance in, in terms of keeping their jobs in the end? I think if you want the job security and you want to keep your job, the only way to circumvent an otherwise legal and reasonable policy to be vaccinated is to have a legal um, exemption. So that means some sort of human rights exemptions, uh, exemption for me, um, either a medical one or one related to religious grounds. Sheikh says simply saying you have anxiety around the vaccine will not be enough to exempt a worker and the company will have legal grounds to suspend or terminate an employee. Absent a good and clear reason, you have to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they essentially have no case at the end of the day if they wanted to. Unless there is a valid human rights reason as to why you cannot be vaccinated, it would be very surprising to me if, they, if an employee who simply chooses not to adhere to a policy would have a legal leg to stand on. The city says while 850 workers still need to receive a vaccine, plans are in place to ensure the city will be able to run without issues in case suspensions are given out to a large number of workers. Our, our managers uh, are working uh, behind the scenes to, uh, you know, with on contingency plans uh, should uh, should we need them to ensure that that there is no interruption. Uh, or that any interruption would be seamless to, to residents of Toronto. The city will be hosting vaccine clinics at nine workplace locations. They also say that anyone who shows proof of vaccination after the deadline can return to work. Melissa Nakavali, City News.